person in the picture behind me is blind from diabetes. They've changed their diet, changed their lifestyle, controlled their diabetes, yet they still develop a devastating complication, blindness. Treatment is injected in the eye every month. And this isn't even a cure, it's just to maintain vision. What has possibly gone wrong? Diabetes is a worldwide epidemic and an overwhelming 80% of all diabetics will develop some form of eye disease. We clearly, we need to know this disease and its treatment much better. What if I told you that everything we needed to know about this disease already exists? What if the answer lies within our genes? Genetics can explain why this disease tends to cluster within families and why you can still go blind despite doing everything that a doctor tells you to. Genetic studies are now very powerful, but there just hasn't been enough people in them. I help recruit participants into a genetic, genetic database of over 3,500 people, and we're still going. By comparing the genetics of those who go blind versus those who do not go blind, we may be able to find the answers we are looking for. Now, if you're going to be jabbed in the eye every month, it should work, right? <laughs> it, it doesn't. For one in three people. And this treatment costs Australia $3 billion a year. We can also compare the genetics of those who fail and those who succeed in treatment. This not only helps us develop better treatments, but can tell you which drug might work best. Let me tell you what happens when a new treatment is developed. So now there's a drug that can be injected in the eye two to three times a year instead of 12 times a year. So if you are an indigenous person living in a remote community eight hours away from your nearest hospital, this is a much more viable and affordable option. I'm testing this theory by running a clinical trial in Central Australia. Blindness and diabetes is much more common in these remote communities and new solutions can help us bridge this gap. Diabetes worldwide is on an exponential rise. So within the next 10 years, one in 10 people will be affected. And that's one in 10 who can go blind. We need something better than an injection in the eye every month that might not work. Maybe a tablet you could take, maybe a cure. And perhaps DNA can guide us towards that path. My vision for the future is that we can beat blindness from diabetes. Thank you. Woo.